This portable head unit is by Goans, and today I'm gonna to go over it and see if it's worth the money. It is a very budget-friendly head unit, which should be decently affordable, but is it any good? I have a checklist of things I'm going to go over to see if it is. It does record the rear camera as well as its front camera whenever you're driving. And we'll be testing it on our 2007 Jeep Wrangler as it does have one of these very basic double din radios. It has one of these basic sticky mounts that you can stick to the dash, which that is not what we'll be using today. So let's go ahead and disconnect this by pushing down and pulling it out. Instead, we're gonna use the suction cup mount, put into the grooves, push down till it clicks, you're good. It is extendable as well as telescoping by loosening this. It does come with a backup camera, which we are going to test today. You can plug this wire in the back of the unit where it says AVN. So in order for it to work, whenever you go into reverse, you have to connect this red wire, which I'm not gonna do in this video, but I will link a video down below that will show you how to do that. Which does have a USB, so it doesn't take up a whole 12 volt plug. And of course has an aux cord, trim removal tool, and extra sticky pad. Now to plug it in, put it right into the 12 volt cigarette lighter. If it's lighting up, you know it's getting power. Then it does use a USB-C, which is nice. But you plug it right underneath the AV1 here. So this is a system screen. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DVR, which I'll show you what that looks like right now. You have the front camera, which actually looks pretty high quality, to be honest. You can basically read what's on there. That's pretty good. And your review camera, which, you know, I need to take this off, much higher quality now. It is squished a little bit, mainly because the screen is lengthened and you're trying to fit two screens onto one. And I actually forgot to take out the plastic on the back of here. Ta -da. And from here, you can press the middle. You can stop the recording, start it, and then you lock it so it will save that footage. Take a screenshot, go to past recorded video files. So we have the rear, all the way up to our, I just moved it right there. Then of course we have the front camera and the photos that we just took. Now you can turn on and off the mic. I prefer to keep it on. And you can change the layout just like so, or you can just swipe it and it'll do the same thing. Whatever, let's go home, playback, which is you know, the recordings that we just did, back home, audio output, which we will go through in a quick second, Apple AirPlay, which would be screen mirroring, Android Cast, Bluetooth music, and finally, Wi-Fi video, which is you'd be connecting this to your camera. This is how you change the brightness, press it, and you slide up or down, it gets pretty dang bright. Then this goes to aux cable, which we do not have plugged in right now. And finally, we have the settings. You can change the rec record resolution. Right now, it's on 720, 720p. We can go on split time, microphone, reminder tone, image mirroring, screensaver, voice control, auto dimming, driver position, reverse line calibration, which will change this. You can maneuver any which way you want. Language, date, format, reset, and finally firmware. So I absolutely hate that noise. So let's go ahead and turn it off by going to reminder tone and turning it off. Ta-da! Okay, let's go ahead and connect to Apple CarPlay because that's what I have. I have an iPhone. Me and my beautiful wife have a CarPlay. Go to Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings. Click this one right here. Let's pair, allow, see how fast it takes to connect. This is real time. Ta-da, there you go. You have all the comfort features of the Apple CarPlay system. You can go back home by pressing here. Let's go back to Apple CarPlay. Of course, we have Spotify. This screen resolution looks very good, by the way. Very impressed with it. Let's go home and go through the different audio outputs. Currently, we're on the speaker within the unit. So let's go ahead and test that out. Play some non-copyright music. Turn the volume up here. This is high as it goes. Of course, that is just the speakers within the unit. It's not gonna be that great as, as expected. So let's connect via aux card. Goes into the top plug and plugs straight into the radio. Plugs in right here and plugs into the top plug and the radio. Audio output, aux, back home, Apple AirPlay. So that doesn't sound too bad. Audio quality, I say it's pretty dang good. Let's go back to audio output. Try to FM transmission. We got 97.1, go to 97.1. This is pretty seamless, go to C. There you go, it connected, the fuzzies went away. Now let's go home, have a car play, and play again. That sounds so much better. So much better from the aux card. I did not expect that 
high of a quality sound from this through FM. On the last radio I reviewed, which is a small portable head unit, it was the cheapest one I found on Amazon. The quality actually sounded pretty good, but once you put your hand near the radio, there was, uh, it created fuzzy noises, but not when you get it close to the portable head unit, only towards the radio. This, you're, you're good. Now let's test out the phone call and mic resolution. And I'll be calling my wife. Here we go, phone call. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm great, how's the quality on this? It's better. It's, um, I can hear you clearly. It does have a little bit of a, not an echo, but like a... Okay, is the crackling and the quality any lower than the cheapest portable head unit I just reviewed? It's better, it's a lot better. Okay, sounds a lot better, okay, cool. And I think it would be clear to hear you even with the wind noise. Okay, and that was definitely a concern for the last one. Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, thank you. Bye, I love All right. you. I love you too, bye. So the quality on that is apparently a lot higher quality and it sounds a lot nicer on my hour end as, as well compared to the cheapest portable head unit. I say that is a win for sure. And all of that was on the FM transmission. Pretty dang good. I'm impressed. So this stereo does not have a Bluetooth connection. You cannot connect anything to Bluetooth. However, we do have a, a way to connect the Bluetooth here. And for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna use a portable Bluetooth speaker. So let's confirm, let's disconnect Android Auto. So we're gonna use this as the original car, as the original car stereo. So we can turn this on. To do this, you wanna connect your phone to the OEM stereo Bluetooth. So go on to settings, Bluetooth. Okay, we're now connected to the stereo's speaker. Now we go home and we still have Apple CarPlay connected. It's playing on the head unit. Now let's go ahead and go home. Now let's do Apple AirPlay. So Apple CarPlay is still connected, so we need to, you have to forget the device on Bluetooth settings. Now we can go to Apple AirPlay form, connect to it via Wi-Fi. It'll be CarLink. You put in the password that shows on here, join it. For whatever reason, the Apple mirror is not working. It's just forever loading up there. It is what it is. I already restarted my phone and I already forgot the network and reconnected it. Um, it's just not connecting, I'm not sure what I'm missing. But I'm gonna count that as it's not working on the head unit because it should be simple. Another big issue with these head units is that they are not auto-connecting. So let's see if this one auto-connects whenever we turn off the unit and turn it back on. So to do that, I'm just gonna unplug the unit. And you can see I'm already connected to Apple CarPlay. Disconnect, reconnect. That was pretty quick. As soon as it turned on, FM transmission has connected and we're connected to Apple CarPlay. That's solid. So in the past, I reviewed a similar unit to this called the CKN Radio. It was $100 and it was terrible but this is 122 dollars and it's so much better and i was completely blown away about how high quality the fm transmission was so that is a win in my book even the recorded footage looks really good which i'm impressed and the quality of the screen is very nice as well it has a front camera and back camera that records 24 7. the only main downfall it does not do apple mirroring or at least i couldn't get it to work but you know most of these units i have not had the Apple mirroring work perfectly because there's always, always an audio delay. And if there's an audio delay, there's no reason for me to want to use it. I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. It should just be a seamless connect. And obviously this one doesn't connect, but even then on the other units, it's always a delay. There's even delay on Android units I've had tried it on as well. But if you want to check this out, I have a link down below for your convenience. This is Chris, always appreciate and respect to another. See you next time.